What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I hope everyone is loving the new setting. Yep, finally moved. This is the new backdrop. I'm going to test out some different angles and see how it goes, but for right now, I think this looks pretty sick right now. I kind of want to hang up my guitars instead of that painting, uh, but yeah, that could be like next week. But anyway, enough about that. Oh, also I... Uh, I drilled into my hand because I'm an idiot and it was because of Ikea furniture and fuck Ikea, man. Anyway, look, we're here to check out some music and I'm behind. And um, man, Chelsea Grin released their new song, Blind Canes, and holy shit, am I fired up for this one. So in case you haven't been following my Chelsea Grin kind of journey, Tom Barber is becoming like one of my favorite vocalists in the scene right now. His stuff in Darko has been incredible. Uh, the last song, Bleeding Sun, was so good. I, I still don't know the old discography of Chelsea Grin, but man, I'm just becoming such a huge fan of Tom that I'm so fired up for this track. Anyway, that is too much chit chat. Let's get on to the first video with the new setting. So let's fucking do it. Oh, getting a story with this one. Ooh. Going western here. Oh, no, I should be having a beer to celebrate the new move. Whatever, maybe next video. Okay. My hand really fucking hurts sometimes. Ooh. That's a gnarly riff. <laughs> oh man Holy shit, this is not disappointing so far at all Holy shit, the two riffs going on there The production is amazing in this one. Holy shit, the reverse effects too. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, it just keeps on going, man. I need it with like a saloon kind of melody there. <sighs> oh. Come on, holy shit. I would clap my hands <laughs> if I could to that. What a good first song to check out with my new like uh, setting man oh my god that did not disappoint you know what I thought it was going to be pretty similar to Bleeding Sun where it was very dark and brooding but no this was shreddy and kind of like funny especially in the music video the tone of the video was like much different than Bleeding Sun and I love that I love how this band is not just sticking to like one tone or theme and experimenting with different like kind of emotions and Damn, this song had so much creativity that it requires many more listens to pick out all the details and like th there was like odd little guitar riffs that were so faint and hard to hear and like there was good like um, phasing between like riffs going to the left ear and right ear and like the rhythm patterns were complex too man there was so many good moments in the song but definitely the standout was the guitar work guitar work was so good it was so much more shreddier and noodlier than I was expecting because Bleeding Sun uh, had some like decent riffs, but for the most part, you know, it felt very zero and one to me. This felt like all over the fretboard. That was awesome, and I know Jason Richardson was in the band before, um, so now it seems like damn their guitars can really keep up. It's not like super fast and technical like Jason, but damn, like the riffs are good and brought a lot of different uh, textures to the song and I, I really did not expect that and look I'm talking about everything else other than Tom and Tom is what it kind of sells me on this band now but holy shit the rest of the band was amazing this like even the bass you could hear the bass at the ending at that ending breakdown okay and speaking of those breakdowns those two breakdowns were just monstrous in terms of creativity with their drumming patterns and like the rest with the guitars and letting the double kicks go in between and like there was so much uh, creativity man like this song was heavy creative and fun and i didn't really expect that going into it and um yeah tom come on his vocals are so catchy and they're so brutal and that's a that's something that i've been really liking about him and darko is that he has such awesome range and he's such a talented deathcore vocalist, but it's not just like his range that is talented. Like I really like his phrasing and his catchiness with his words. And I think that's so important. If you can make the music catchy and sticks with you too, I think that is mm, chef's kiss to that. Anyway, God damn, that song was easily like, I couldn't think of like a better track to start uh, the new uh, move with. Damn, that was good. Anyway, I'm glad I waited on that. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on Blind Kings. Chelsea Green, if you guys got a song recommendation for me, then comment down below. Spice of my life. Comment down a song that I missed out on during the past week of this move. Also, what do you think of the new setting? Uh, I'm going to play around with angles and lighting a little bit, but I think this is alright. I don't know about that painting. Not really a fan of that painting, but yeah. I'll figure it out. Anyway, but on that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace! Oh wait, peace! Gotta get used to it.